Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler, and this is episode one of my Suyata Fokker DR1 and Red Baron build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. First things first, we're going to pop over to the man shed and let Steph run us through the box, sprues, decals, and destructions. So, it's over to you, Steph. Thanks for the introduction, Steph. This is the box art, it's looking really, really good. This is from Suyata, SK001. Let's have a look around the sides of the box. Gives you the aircraft, the Red Baron, bit of the box art on the side again. Same on the other side, box art. Look, I really do like the box art, it looks very, very nice. There's your dimensions, Suyata's address in Hong Kong. And it says you've got a full interior as well. Not bad for the price. I'm really looking forward to building this. That's inside the box. This is what you've got. Let's take a closer look. These are your, what is that? That's the interior. As you can see, the seat's pre-painted. So I'm gonna completely flatten that out with uh, black. Redo it completely. Next up, we've got the figure. This is the Red Baron. There's a big hole in his chest. I was trying to work out what that was for. That's for his Blue Max. So you can paint the Blue Max first, pop it in his chest, that's it done. Feet, you've also got a walking cane there. So that's gonna be quite nice. Next up, we've got his head and his arms. Yep, and a jacket as well. So his arms will go in, obviously, and very, very nice head, nicely molded. So, looking forward to painting that little tinker. Hmm. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that one. That should be nice. That should come out really well. Right, let's get that bag closed. Move on to the next bit. Here we've got four halves. We've got the first one, which is solid colour. That will be primed completely. So, if you just want to pop it together, you can do, leave it like that. Doesn't need painting this. Everything is done in colored plastic, which is really pretty cool for this. So as you can see, nicely stuck together. So comes away, may need to uh, knock back those. So what's up next? We'll have a quick look at the clear parts. So you can put this together with the clear parts so you can see what's going on inside that. I doubt very much what I'll be using. So even though it looks quite nice, may use it for something else, I don't know. Anyway, pop that to one side. Up next, we've got the engine parts. So let's open the back. Have a look, see. They are looking quite nice. The plastic is really, really nice. The engines are so well molded, really nice. But as I said before, these are gonna be primed completely, repainted, yeah. I like the look of this, really getting itchy fingers on this one, can't wait. So, let's pop that back in a bag and we'll move on to the next one. Oh, come on, get in the bleeding bag, will you? Keep sticking itself to the sprue. Right, we've gone past the engine, let's get on to the red part, shall we? Here we go, this is the wings, the tail ailerons and a couple of other bits in here nicely molded plastic got all the stress skin on it it looks really good i'm really impressed with this looking forward to this one yeah got holes in the tail yeah all the parts especially the tail and the wings have got all their stress skin that's looking nice so let's pop those away and have a look at the next lot shall we There we go, that's gone in the bag nicely. So here we have the wings. Yep, that looks nice. Come on, open up. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Let's get in the bag. Come on. Yep, here's the lower wings, the mid wings. And there's the base of the undercarriage. Yep, they all slot together in those little joins. So we'll have to get those. But again, nice bit of stretched... Uh, stressed fabric on there got some really good details on these 
Right. Oh, it keeps sticking itself together. There we go. Right. Another set of coloured sprues. So these are chrome and black. So again, we'll be uh, priming these. Uh, there's the guns and the exhaust system and the belt feeds for the machine guns. Yeah, detail is really, really nice on this. So let's pop that back in the bag. Pop that to one side. Up next, we've got the wooden parts. These are all in the beige plastic so you've got the propeller there you've got the uh, anti-roll skids and then you've got the struts so that's all the parts here we have the instruction book which is really nice and there's the decals yep just a couple of decals You've got the four on the right hand side, they're for his eyes, so no need to paint the cartoon character's eyes. Yes, result. So pop the decals back in there, keep them safe. If you know me, I'm always losing things. So here's the destructions. Your call outs, all your different, but yeah, set up Teddy. So usual instructions there. Sprue layout. There your decals and sprue layout, colour call out for the Red Baron and you've got your two different uh, fuselages up there. Engine, internals, more internals, how to glue the engine onto the main frame. Then putting it all together. There we go, that's what it looks like. Yep. I'll leave all this so you can have a look and see what's going on. I'll occasionally chime in. Three part wheels. And there's your struts, tells you which ones go where. Long ones on the bottom, short ones on the top. And finally, there's your top wing and the body for the Red Baron. And the rest of him. And then you've got your decal layout. And that's the destructions. So, thanks very much for that. Let's go back to the studio for Steph. Thanks for showing us around the kit, Steph. It looks really nice. And I've had a bit of an idea for Dio, but I'll tell you about that later. For now, let's get the engine built. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. <laughs> There we have the engine and its support built. This is a really tidy little engine. And to be honest, it puts some non two models to shame. The detail is excellent. Anywho, there's a pouch here that needs cleaning up and prepping for priming. So 
let's get on with that. As you've seen, I'm test fitting everything as this is a snap together product and I'm painting it. So tolerances are gonna be tight. The fit is very much in the same range as Bandai. If you've made one of theirs, you'll know what I mean. Anywho, now on to the throttle lever assembly. I'm gonna be doing exactly the same as that. Then we have the throttle lever assembly in there. That was a real snug fit. I'm leaving it in for the moment, as you know what I'm like, and I don't want to break it. Next, we'll be prepping and test fitting a few of the dials and ancillary parts. So, let's crack on with those, shall we? And yes, I was brave enough to eventually pop the throttle lever assembly out. we have the dials and series and joystick prepped and ready for priming. I tell you what, that joystick took a bit of working out, but I got there in the end. Next, let's get the exhaust system glued and ready for priming. That's the exhaust section glued and clamped using my new clamps. If you've not seen them, go check out the tutorial sections. They're in there, somewhere. Anywho, onto the fuel tank, stroke instrument panel, stroke gun support. Here we go with that. There we have that cleaned up and ready. Next up, the Mausers. So let's get these bad boys made. And there we have those bad boy Mausers built and ready for priming. Anywho, 
this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 1. If you want to see what happens in episode 2, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.